Good morning, kids. We are excited to be with you again in our online AKM class today. We are now on Talk 8, and the title of our talk is Faith and Doubt. My name is Teacher Grace from Feast PICC AM Session. We hope you are all safe at home with your family and looking forward to hearing our new lesson today. Kindly follow us on Facebook so we can bring our AKM class into your homes. Let us call Teacher Farah for the opening prayer. Let us all remember that we are in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we praise you, we honor you, and give you thanks, Almighty God. Thank you for the help of our church in guiding and leading us to be near you. Help us to always be obedient and may we grow more in our faith in you, O Lord. Continue to touch our hearts and minds as we listen to our lessons in today's talk. All this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Teacher Farah. Let us now call Martin to pray the Novena to God's Love. Everyone, let's all pray the Novena to God's Love in the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I'm blessed, I am blessed in the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Martin. Let us continue with the journey through the book of Matthew. After the transfiguration, when Jesus' face and clothes became dazzling bright, at the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. This is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 14 to 16. After Jesus finds out that the disciples failed to drive out the demon from the boy, Jesus said, You faithless and corrupt people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Then Jesus rebuked the demon in the boy, and it left him. From that moment, the boy was well. This is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 17, verses 17 to 18. Afterward, the disciples asked Jesus privately, Why couldn't we cast out the demon? You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. This is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 19 to 20. Let us call Teacher Ray to discuss further. God wants us to grow spiritually, to deepen our faith, and to be spiritually mature. This is our big message for today. We all mature physically, whether we want to or not. On the other hand, spiritual maturity is not guaranteed. This can be achieved through a gradual process of developing healthy and life-giving ways of relating to God, to yourself, and to others. Here are some of the signs that you have grown spiritually. Your life is guided by a core set of values. You are at peace on what cannot be changed. You are dependable and joyful. You can defer pleasure. You give joyfully with an abundance mindset. You are slow to anger and easily forgive. If you do not have these qualities, don't feel bad, my spiritual babies, for it is a journey to grow spiritually. And here are the lessons that we want to share with you. Number one, the church will fail you. There may come a time that there will be no human who can help you. During this time, keep in mind that God will always be there for you. Go to Jesus. Number two, stop trying to control God. 
We tend to control God because we do not trust Him. When God doesn't give what we expect, we tend to throw tantrums like a little child and take matters in our own hands. Number three, growing more is trusting God more. Trust that God has a plan for you. Trust takes time to develop. First step is to make a decision to trust God and not to worry. Fill your heart and mind with the Word of God. Faith is a trusting relationship. With the distractions and temptations around us, it is difficult to do this on your own. Ask help from the Holy Spirit. God is just waiting for you to lay everything at His feet and trust Him completely. Let us call Teacher Farah to guide us in our activity. Hello our dear awesome kids! I am Teacher Farah. Today, we will be making our Grow in Faith activity. We have learned that faith is a trusting relationship. So growing more is trusting more. May this activity remind us that as true Christians, we have to grow our faith in God. We will need the following materials. Also paper or bond paper, popsicle sticks, assorted colored papers, scissors, glue, marker. First, get a sheet of Oslo paper or bond paper. Second, cut out flowers, leaves, and potch shapes using the colored paper. Third, use green popsicle sticks for the plant stem. Fourth, stick the cut materials and popsicle sticks using glue on the Oslo paper. Fifth, Get your flower pot shape, cut from brown colored paper, and glue it over your flower stems, making a flower plant figure. And last, write the word, grow in faith, to remind us that we must always keep the faith and trust God more and more as long as we live. We would love to see you and your work. Please take a picture of you holding what you made and post this in the comments of our Facebook page. We hope you learned a lot and had fun through our video today. Stay safe. See you again next Sunday. Let's remember that God is always present in our midst as we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. Thank you for calling us to be more trusting in your ways. Since we are still restricted from meeting our loved ones and beloved friends and have to wait for things to go to the way they were before, please help us to focus on how to grow our relationship with you. By this, we will no longer be afraid knowing that you are always with us. Let our faith be stronger that no matter what happens, we will see that better days are coming. As we face another week, cover us and our families with your protection and love. We trust that you heal those who are sick, give hope to those who are broken, and strength to those who keep on serving. All this we ask in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.